Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at this Roaring Fire roll-up pouch. Perfect for tools or maybe emergencies like a bug out bag. Take it with you for camping. Roaring Fire was nice enough to send me this for free so I can make this video showing it to you. So let's open it up, take a look at all the pockets and pouches and everything we got, then throw some stuff in it and see what we think about it. Now it does come with the shoulder strap here, which is connected to these D-rings that you can take off. So we're going to go ahead and remove it for now. You also do have just the regular carrying handle there. We have buckles on either side that we can take off. Those are adjustable. We can open this guy up and we see we have this flap here that has a buckle and also a hook and that can actually be unzipped. So this zipper right here takes off this top flap and when we open that guy you see we have a zip up pocket on this side here. We have two zip up mesh pockets right here in the middle so you can see what is inside. And again, that whole flap can just zip off and become separate if you'd like. And we also have this flap here, which exposes all of these pockets. Now we have two pockets right here. We have three right here. And we have three on this end here. And we have these elastics that match those pockets. So if you have long handle stuff that's going to pass through all of those. You know, as far for my purposes, I always keep a tool kit in my trunk for emergencies. But a lot of those mechanic kits only come with like sockets and ratchets. And you might get a single screwdriver that's a multi-bit screwdriver. But most of those sets don't have places for like pliers or wrenches or actual individual screwdrivers so something like this would be a nice complement to that. Uh, we also have three deep pockets up here. These pockets go all the way down to the bottom of the pouch and over on the side here we have another mesh pocket that we can see in and it zips up so nothing can fall out, lose it, anything like that. So let's throw some tools in this and see what we think. Check out this little set I came up with. Look at that. That is full to the gills right there, but it still will clasp. So we're good. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. Bam. All right, so starting out at the top. Remember, we're making a little automotive emergency kit here. Got a whole pack of fuses. Never know when you might blow a fuse. Don't want to be stranded because of that. Now here I got a roll of electrical tape, and if I had a small container, I'd put a bunch of electrical connectors in there. If I didn't have any, otherwise you could just leave them loose and put them in there and they'd be fine. Over here I got various pins. Maybe you're hauling a trailer or for whatever other reason, you get stuck on the side of the road, this might be just good enough to get you home. And that's all we're asking, just get us home. Alright, so we got a bunch of pins over there. Now we open up the flap and look at all that. Look at all that! Got a whole set of screwdrivers here, tucked behind this pocket here. I got some wire strippers. Look at that. Got some wire strippers there. You got the crimpers there. We're doing electrical here. We're not going to get stranded on the side of the road because of an electrical problem. And the end one, we got some locking pliers. Now up front, like I said, the full set of screwdrivers. We got some Knipex bolt cutters. We got the adjustable wrench. And then for our side pocket, I put a little LED work light. Now, of course, you could put a flashlight instead, but we put a little light there. And I got the charge cable, which doubles as my cell phone charge cable. Boom. Ain't no emergency going to scare me. I got a roaring fire pouch. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching.